Hey everybody and welcome back to the Average Woman Podcast. I'm that lady, Miss Nicole, coming at you today with another topic that is near and dear to my spirit. So today we're going to get into it. We are going to talk about how to keep a man, y'all, because a lot of y'all don't know how to get a man or keep a man. So let's talk about that Um, because it seems like uh, we kind of jacked up. Now, I watched Blueface get beat up by his girlfriend. Okay, a lot of y'all women want a man that got paper. Y'all want a man that's that that got big banks. But the reason why y'all are you won't be able to get that is because your attitude is jacked up. If you don't have enough common sense to understand that when a man is out here and he is trying to get at that bread, he needs a woman but by his side. Not a thotty, not a drunk, not a drunk chick, a real not a hot chick, none of that shit. He don't want none of that stuff. Why? Because he has so much to lose fucking with you. This man lost a, a million, millions of dollars because you get drunk in the club and you feeling some type of way because he got fans. Let me tell you something, ladies. These men are going to have fans. They're going to have fans. My husband, he got fans. But that don't mean that he going to entertain the fans. And that don't mean that you need to overreact about the fans because guess what you're his number he you're he's your number one fan he wants you you're his woman so all this getting upset about other women and and getting in your feelings that's why you don't deserve a high value man you don't deserve a man with some business about himself you don't deserve a man that that is trying to find his way because you are a liability you are liability because you can't control you can't control your emotions. You drink too much. You loud. You obnoxious. You don't know how to dress. You're not modest. You're he's not bringing a man. Don't want to show up with a thotty with a hot girl on his arm. You good to smash, but you're not good to wife. And I know that I just blew your head off with all that information in the beginning before I even took the commercial break. So you know the rest of it about to be fire. So we're going to take a break because I got to pay these bills. You know what I'm saying? Now, queenforcreation at gmail.com is my email. You can send me a message with Nicole. I don't like you. Whatever you got to say, you can say it to me that way. NicoleArcher.com is my website. I have some coaching. I, I can assist you with helping you feel better with some herbal teas that I custom make per client. Yes, I'm that. I do that stuff too. <laughs> But I'm here. I'm your sister from a different mist. I want to see you win. I am your friend. I'm here to help you. Let's get into it. We'll be right back after these messages. All right. So we are back. And I'm just saying, I'm just saying, ladies, it would behoove you to fix your attitude. If you really want to get a man, especially a man with some business about himself, your attitude determines your altitude. You have to learn how to carry yourself like a woman. I know that's not something that you've been taught because y'all all over the place. Number one, a man does not want a woman that has to paint on her face every day just to feel confident about herself. I'm, I, I'm, listen, okay, you, you got to accept who God made you and embrace that and just rock with that you don't have to be perfect nobody is perfect 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 is fake (laughs) perfect is fake what is your definition of perfect you know perfect is fake because nothing is perfect nothing is without flaws you understand but we have to learn to embrace that and just be the best person that you can be y'all i'm sorry about the cicadas in the background but all that noise i do apologize but we got to get this going so you got to be able to set aside your insecurities a man cannot deal with how you feel about yourself self-esteem is about what you think about yourself so you need to start looking in the mirror and just understand that ain't nobody asking you to be perfect Nobody asking you to to, to fart fairy dust. You putting that stress on yourself. You feel like you have to be this way or have to be a certain type of way for a man to love you. You don't. You don't have to be a certain type of way. What you have to be is real and realistic and humble and meek and and, and, and not so whorish. A man, I'm telling y'all, 
the what your reputation is all that you got and some of y'all done burned y'all reputation up in y'all town so it's time for you to move on you need to pack up and leave your town to find you somebody who don't know how whorish you truly have been because you're not going to find a man that's really going to want you once he knows that you've been a whoring no don't no man want to make the whore his wife don't nobody want the feisty loudest whore on his side showing up to dinner parties and formal events that's not how it go pretty woman that's a facade that's fake don't hardly ain't no richard gear coming to rescue you and take you off into his mansion and all like that because you've been selling ass on the side of the curb and then she was going right back to what she are what she knew you know you got to learn to be the best person that you can be the baddest be you ever gonna be is yourself the baddest be you ever gonna be is yourself because that's who God made you. So embrace who you are and put that forward. That's sexy. That's 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 not that can't be copied or imitated. You understand? You just be you. Just love who you see in the mirror and work on that funky ass attitude. See, cause that's what it is. You put that wig on and them nails, and then you got that shoulder popping on one, popping on the shoulder, and then you just be doing the most. And taking losses and shit. It's not any and it, and like I said, no matter what you want, men don't like feisty women. They just don't. They don't like feisty women. Men don't wife feisty women. They just don't. I don't make the rules. I have to follow them too. You know, you got to be the kind of woman that a man is attracted to, and men are not attracted to women who don't understand who they are and their place in this world. Uh, when a man has something to lose, he has to be very choosy about the woman that he pulls into his world. His social security number, his date of birth, his checking account, his savings account. If he got kids previously, his kids, his personal business, all that, that stuff he's uh, he's bringing you into. And the beneficiary, you knowing his social security number. you He's bringing you into that. So he can't give that to anybody. He got thousands of dollars laying around the house, jewelry and all this. He can't just allow you to walk up in there and just have that. Are you serious? It's just you, you. your expectation is just unreasonable about how you think you should be perceived. Whoa, your expectation is unreasonable about how you should be perceived based on your actions because uh, looks change they don't really give a damn about your looks that's why i tell you a lot of y'all can find men to hit it but they not gonna stay and the reason why they not gonna stay is because you because of you and your attitude about what you think it should be how you think you should be behaving and what you think you entitled to i've never seen so many women think that they entitled to something in all my days whatever happened to getting out working for what you want and sharing it you remember the story about the little red hen remember the little red hen she uh she had to plant the wheat seeds she had to grow the wheat she had to water the water the wheat she had to cut the wheat she had to take the wheat to the mill she had to uh turn the wheat into bread and then when she did all that there, she said, I'm eating this bread. I'm eating the bread by myself because I had to do everything else by myself. Y'all got that little red hen thing so bad that even if you in the, you in the house lonely with no man all by yourself and you won't even want to bring a brother over to share a meal with him. If you by yourself and it's a man that's, that's, that's liking on you, he's attractive. He's, he's somebody that you feel, uh, you know, sexually attracted to, physically attracted to, mentally attracted to. Just because he ain't got no money, what the hell I got to do with anything? When when does it? When does a dollar? When is a dollar so important that uh, you know, that's just the end all be all? Nah, I ain't never seen. I, I mean, that's selfish anyway. You worrying about a person's pockets? They everybody gonna go through their shit. You know, y'all are darn flip out on your boss real quick and lose your job and that'd be the end of y'all world quick to walk off a job quick to cuss somebody, a customer out you know how y'all get down half of y'all don't even want to work so if you don't got a house a lot of time our men be having it hard because they don't have no foundation 
See, a man, when a man don't have a foundation for himself, it's hard for him to stand up on his feet. You should know that, ladies. See, our mothers kicked us out, but we had to find a plan. So what we did, we got pregnant and we got us a Section 8 house in the project somewhere. Okay, so that's your foundation right there because you got a place to put your clothes. You got a place for mail. You got a place to think. You got a place to get your stuff together. See, he don't have that. He leave mama house and then he bouncing from friend to friend to friend because most of the women that he been messing with don't even have a place to stay. So he really don't have no foundation. Without no foundation, he can't get a social security card because there ain't no address to send it because he can't send it to mama house because she got attitude to put him out. Because he really... He's confused because daddy probably didn't raise him real good. And, you know, mama catered him to be a, 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 a feminine. So he in his feelings and he got emotions and shit. And we have to understand that. We we doing that to our sons at this very moment. Feminizing our sons and then want them to be real men. It does not work like that, ladies. I know, I know, I know. Miss Nicole, we tired of you. I know you tired of me. I'm tired of me too. But somebody got to tell you this truth. Somebody got to tell you this truth. You need to hear it. So you got to be patient with these men. I'm telling you, uh, these men are diamond in the rough. If you can just put your feelings and that wig and shit on pause, you know, and think for one second. You know, this brother right here, I know he did. I remember him from school. He was smart. He got plans, you know, and even if he don't, it's for you. You got to hold the man down. Hold the man down. To, for him to come up and when he come up he gonna be so motherfucking appreciative of you girl he, it ain't nothing you ain't gonna be able to get i'm telling you i'm telling you you hold this man down ain't nothing you gonna be able to get for you won't he'll, he'll empty his pockets out to you and be happy but you shouldn't take advantage of that you shouldn't want your man to be broke you shouldn't want your man to spend all his money in the house taking care of you you so damn selfish that's the most selfishest thing I can't say. I I don't want my man to be broke. You understand? Because that that I don't want him not to have no money in his pocket, and I got money in my pocket. What does that look like? That see y'all learn all that from your selfish ass mamas who ain't got no man. Y'all should. That's the first thing you gotta learn how to do is share. Selfish woman. I swear you don't even want to buy the man nothing to eat, and you think you're doing something. Don't nobody. That's you don't deserve a man. You deserve to be by your damn self. If you can't take a man out to lunch at least two or three times a week and give him some coochie without fussing about it, you don't need no man. You need to be by your damn self. So just keep buying your little outfits and shit because nobody wants you. A man want a woman that's considerate. Stop asking for what you're going to do for me and, and show him what you can do for him. Show that. You show a man what you're willing to do for him, that's how you get it. Be like my girl. She showed. She she brought invited me over. She fried some of the best chicken. Gave me some head and twenty dollars. I think I love her. You not being a fool because you letting him know what time it is that you want him. That's the most sexiest thing in the world to let a man know. Look, I'm feeling you. I want you to be my man. But first, he got to choose you. You know, say once they choose you and give you the green light, yeah, I'm feeling you. Then you go all in on them and love on them. You know what I'm saying? But it got to be an understanding first. It's got to be an understanding first. He got to be talking. You got to be. Li- you got to listen to what he is saying. You got to listen to what he's saying. You got to take that crust off your ears, that inner part of your ear, because I had it too. When I met my husband, I was like, I was thinking, I don't know what the hell I was thinking at the time, but it's just something he started talking, and something saying in my head, hey, this a man talking right here. You better listen to what he's saying. And I was just listening to him, and I was like, oh shit, I done found me a man. Oh, this on now. Nah. So that was the end of that. It didn't take me long. It didn't take me long to understand what I was dealing with. And it didn't take me long to understand that I was going to do whatever it takes to roll with this man. Because I want, I want him. Because he want me. And this going to be good. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's how, I mean, you got to turn your feet to the testimony. Y'all thinking that this going to be some kind of fairy tale love. You're going to be single, lonely, and miserable. Don't nobody want to grow up, raise children by themselves with nobody to share their life with. You're going to be miserable. You're going to take all your frustration out on your kids because you unhappy because don't nobody want you. That's not fair to your children. Why they got to put up with that? 
You understand what I'm saying? I know you you ain't feeling Miss Nicole because it's going to be on that bullshit. But, y'all, I ain't going to keep y'all today. I just want to say I love y'all. I will talk to y'all later. Shalom.